Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 6 now? Yeah, 6 of my Rise of Flight Let's Play. Um, we're going to continue again today with uh, Teddy Bishop. No, Teddy Bishop's dead. We should forget about him. He'll be missed, mourned. Robert Cross. We'll continue with Robert Cross. Um, before I start, I just want to make a short apology for not having uploaded any videos for the past two weeks. Turns out I was a lot more busy than I thought. So... I don't know. I guess that I should stop stalling and actually jump over to the campaign generator where we can get started. Robert Cross should uh, review a few things. I think, if I remember right, things went pretty well last time. Um, I got promoted. I remember that, which is nice. I have the highest amount of kills in our entire squadron, which is also nice. Um, don't think anything has changed as far as intelligence on the map is concerned. I think mo things are mostly still the same. Yastas, all that kind of fun stuff that I haven't really bothered to figure out. So, whatever. Let's just jump straight into a mission. So, seems pretty simple here. It was a bit strange. I got a bit of an error there briefly um, when the, I tried clicking on the mission. So, I might, and we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping it'll be fine, but uh, we'll see. Sometimes the campaign general can be smidge finicky. But we'll hope for the best. Looks like it's a fairly short short patrol, though. We're going to be heading north, then a little bit east. Then we're just going to be heading west back uh, along our lines patrolling. So it looks like we're going to be taking Daribu with us. Uh, I'll actually I'll swap out. Daribu had his chance for kills. We'll bring in Cad. And uh, we will also drop Felix and bring in B. Because she is someone we actually care about. Oh, still flying our good old Newport 11s. Finish. Accept mission. We'll just go back to campaign here. So we can look at that. And then we'll go uh, switch back over to Rise of Flight. Missions. Where it should now be. This one? Yeah. That looks right. The 26th? Yeah. I'm just glancing over back over. All right, looks like we're back in. Okay, so despite that little error I seem to have with the campaign generator, things seem to be fine still. This shows the same and proper path that it showed. Checking out my plane, everything else is in order. Fuel, whatever, skin, all good. Back to mission. And we'll go start and get this puppy underway. Okay, so let's go P to unpause. Center track IR. Oh, lag. Good old lag. Oh wow, we got some... A couple of new ports, and looks like an FE2B up there. So, we should uh, probably start our engine. That would be, would be a swell thing to do. I'm just going to put, put a little bit of pepper into it, a little bit of throttle. Because I find that leaning out of the mixture right now doesn't tend to work super, super well. It tends to stall on me for some reason, so I'll wait till I'm actually at full throttle with the plane, and then I'll lean out my mixture. I've seen a lot of um, takeoff procedures with the new port, and yeah, they say to like, lean it to 600 RPM before you take off, but I don't know, that doesn't. it seems to stall every time I do it, so I'm going to do it my way. And let's start putting pepper into it. Lean out my mixture. Use some rudder to uh, actually stay straight. Push forward a little bit to get my tail off the ground. And pull up. And golden. We are in the air. And everything is happy. Or awesome, as the case may be. Flying dramatically into the sunset as I try and stay behind B. See if I can pick Cat out here when I look behind me. He should be there. Uh, or, hold on, let me actually get a better look than that. Where is he? 
don't see him back there. That's a bit weird. Also, you know, not good. I'm fairly confident he didn't crash on takeoff. AI yeah, is usually pretty good when it comes to taking off. Landing, different story. Takeoff, pretty good. Maybe I'll get to see him here when I turn. Uh, oh, there he is. I just didn't so I see him against the backdrop of the snow. Speaking of snow, it with it being February 26th and all, looks like, um, at least in a couple more months of in-game time, things will be coming to an end. It also means that good old Robert Cross here has been alive for at least two months now, which is kind of nice. Longer than Teddy Bishop, the jerk. Oh, look at you, Cad, cutting the cutting the turn there to try and get ahead of me. What a dick. I'm the higher ranked officer. I should be ahead. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Looks like we have quite the crowded skies today. Another squadron of Newports are up in the air, doing their thing. Being Newporty. Lean out my mixture a little bit. Getting a smidge more performance out of my engine. Not a lot, but every bit counts. Go to those other squadron. Well, at this point, I think I'm going to, uh, we seem to be heading north now. Yeah, north, because we're heading away from the sun. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. I'll bring everybody back in when I get closer to the front, and our patrol actually becomes underway. See everybody in a bit. Whoa, okay. Things that I did not see. They came out of, like, freaking nowhere. Okay, Eindeckers. A squadron of them. So... Right into the action it is. Right when we got to the line. Uh, okay, yeah, brief update on where we are. We were just heading back east towards the line. Which is where we are. Oh my god, that's a big leg spike. Okay. Which is where we are right at this very moment. And right as we got there, Eindeckers. Eindeckers everywhere. So, here we go. Fighting commences. Let's try and keep on this guy's tail. He's pulling some Star Fox moves. Although, to be honest, Star Fox moves are probably not the greatest moves to be making in a dogfight. Well, uh, you all know how it is. It's supposed to be just a term used to describe crazy maneuvers uh, I think I lost that guy's tail I don't know where he went but I'm not on him anymore so let's try and cut this corner here and get on this guy This is quite the fight, to be honest. There's a lot of planes about. Okay, hello, Mr. Other Eindecker. I'm not going to take my shots yet until I actually get closer to them. I do not want to waste my bullets. They don't even seem to be interested in me. They're just kind of flying away. I suppose maybe they have a mission to do? I'm going to try and, try and do something I've never tried before.
sort of worked. So uh, I forget the, what the actual maneuver is called, but basically you dive to gain speed underneath them, and then you pop up behind them. Okay, this guy seems to actually be caring that I'm like right on him now. That's actually a useful trick. Kind of works. Never actually really got to use it before. The Zion Decker started doing the same thing. He dove as well, so he gained some speed. I'm going to try and dive a little bit under him. I'm not quite sure what these guys are doing, but they're still on my side of the line, so that makes them fair game in my books. Come on, speed up. Oh, they are turning. Ah, uh, reloading. Come on. I heard there were other shots winging off me, so I decided, whoa, there are still other shots winging off me, so let's not stay in this guy's gun sights. If we can be helped. Jeez, which apparently it can't. Oh god, track IR flipped out for a moment there. Tried to do a roll the other direction. See if I could, I uh, wanted to try and get a snapshot on him, but more importantly what I wanted to do is be able to use the right torque of my rotary engine to my advantage. Because I can turn tighter turning right than I can turning left. Although granted, He's in a ro uh, rotary aircraft as well, so he will be able to work the same way, but of course that also means that uh, I'm pretty sure that the Newport has a more powerful engine, so I don't know. Either way, I think I'm a, higher, a better turn fighter than he is anyway, and whatever, it works sort of kind of. I'm on his tail, and I just need to actually stop being a terrible shot now and take my shot to actually actually kill this man. Come on, come on, come on. Some decent hits in. Out of ammo again. Come on, me. Use those gunnery skills you don't have.
this other oh boy These guys are crazy. Oh man, I can't see Jack. I think that I think that one just crashed. only I could see that would be wondrous this way that would literally be the most wonderful thing A few beads on this piece of junk before I run out of juice here. Come on. This is a little bit difficult. Getting a few decent hits in. Doesn't seem like anything major though. It's kind of difficult to aim and fly with marmalade all over my face. So far, I think I'm going to claim two victories. Because I've taken at least two planes out of commission. One guy has looked like he was going home. Uh, that I took some decent ch chunks out of. I'll claim that because... Aerial victory in my books. Okay. Let's try and gain on this guy a little bit. God dang you, oil sputter. I am out of bullets. Dang it. Okay, well, looks like I'm breaking off then. Those last bullets that I heard, I don't know where they came from or what they were, but... Uh, uh, either way, looks like this fight's over for me. I gotta go home. I'm gonna go home now. Oops, so I'm not gonna steep climb that steeply, but I'm a little bit crippled here. You can see you got some nice bullet holes in my fuselage. Of course, my engine's more than a little unhappy with me. Um, I'm gonna do my best to navigate home. Let's see, so that's south. I'm going to try and just climb to gain some altitude, so if my engine does die on me, at least I'll be able to uh, glide farther. Find a nicer place to actually set her down. God, I cannot see Jack, though, with all his marmalade. Got nice holes in my wings. That was quite the fight, though. They really took some beef out of me. Um like to think I managed to do the same in return, but really, I think I'm only going to claim two victories. 
two went down as to, on my accord that I'm going to claim anyway. Um, one I'm pretty sure because I was taking shots at him and I think he crashed into the... Or we were dogfighting at least and he crashed into the trees. I'll claim that. Um, and the other guy that I took a bunch of shots out of and uh, we'll see. I think I'm pretty sure he would have... He, he went down eventually or at least will count as a victory. So we'll see what the game says. I'll claim the two though because I'm a cocky bastard. Alright, so I want to try and find out where I am. In which case, I have so far no idea. Oh, okay. Bit laggy there. So, but if I look on the map for two places to the south. Oh, wait. Actually. <laughs> Wow, call that lucky, but I think that might be our airfield right there. Just let me let me turn this way to get a closer look at it, but I think that's it actually. Yeah, an airfield right next to a town. The the way that the river is lined up make er kind of matches. Let me just whip out my uh, map here. Oh boy, gotta kind of let go of the stick here, so it's a little bit uh, difficult. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in a bit. So that's my airfield right there. And the territory I'm looking at here... Oh, wait, gotta get exit this kind of view here. Uh, the territory I'm looking at here matches, right? That's totally it. That's absolutely it. I'll pull back in the throttle a little ways and start descending. Kind of loop back close. I kind of wish I got to stay with the rest of my squadron. Broke off pretty hard and pretty early. Some other new ports looking to do a thing, I guess. Mechanics won't be happy with me, but hey, at least I'm coming back without bullet holes in me. Better for them to be in the plane than me, I guess. Also, it doesn't put me out of commissions either. I can actually I can continue flying my missions out the wind. The wind seems to be pretty docile in pretty much every direction, but it is coming from what looks like to be east-ish, so I will approach, I will swim back around and approach from that direction. Straighten out a little bit, just to get one last look-see. Yeah, good enough. Let's get my f white flare. Guys, I'm going to land. I'm pretty sure that's what the white player means. We'll see. Hopefully that doesn't hit anybody because that looked like <laughs> it actually got a lot closer to the uh, airfield than I thought it would. With the engine running less hard, or uh, less, yeah, less hard, it uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be spitting as much oil in my face, which is nice. I never, don't really like that. Flip switch a bit. Pull a bit of a hard turn here. Pick up a decent amount of airspeed as I come in, but it'll bleed off before I get there. Okay, so. Oh god. Why oil? Okay, okay. stopped working but I think we're okay I think the engine will still run I just want to start it back up because that'll be a personal victory to me if it still runs so 
Seems like it would be. It just seemed to have failed its actual start there. Let's try one more again. Come on, try it. Do it. Whatever. I don't care. I've officially given up. Oh well, I'm back at base. Things are happy-ish. Um, let's take a look at the oopsie outside of my plane. Zoom in a bit more. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've taken that much damage before. Look at that. Bullet holes all over which place. <laughs> oh, I lost one of my elevators. I didn't even know that. Dear God. Okay. Well, uh, let's just. Take a quick peek around. We're friendly. No idea who you are. No idea who you are. You're in my squadron, at least. You're the squad leader. Who else is there? You're not my squad leader, but you're in my squad, which is nice. Well, it actually kind of seems like all of them are still there. So, yeah, let's just back to me then I guess and we'll go finish flight again I'm going to cover the screen with my hand as per usual and I will claim two victories that's what I plan on claiming two Fokker E3's did I get that many I don't know we'll see what the game credits are with proceed okay we'll just cancel out of this and I'll switch us back over to Pat Wilson's campaign generator yeah, we'll go combat report for 26th of February. Claiming two kills. Fokker E3. Fokker E3. And submit report. A go. And we'll start debriefing. So. Oh, these Fokkers were destroyed like super quick right off the bat with that weren't actually us and we we flew the restaurant that must have been that other patrol that ended up running into them okay so let's actually go through this a lot of stuff happened over here going down the thing Fokker destroyed Newport destroyed Fokker destroyed yeah damaged by Robert Cross awesome oh CAD was destroyed Ooh, we'll see maybe maybe he didn't die maybe he just crash landed or something we might get lucky uh damaged by Robert Cross damage 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 Destroyed by Robert Cross. Destroyed by Robert Cross. Destroyed by Robert... Oh, I actually got four kills? Oh, well. Whatever. I claimed two. That's 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 good enough for me. Debrief complete. Okay. Lost Sergeant Pierre Cad. Oh. We regret to inform command that Sergeant Pierre Cad has been killed in action. You guys can't see me, but I'm saluting him right now. He got a reward for being killed. Good job. Good job. And we got a new transfer. Sergeant Anton require requ him. Oh well, Cad won't be happy about that. Well, he got a kill at least. Good old Cad got a kill. He took one down with him, I guess. Uh, yeah, and our our flight lead got a kill as well. But uh, looks like uh, B didn't B didn't get anything, or at least she didn't claim anything. Finish. All right, well, here we go. Here's the newest uh, update. Me with the eight kills. I think that this in the rules... Let's see, let's go advanced settings. I think the rules in here is that it needs to be... Uh, you need to kill ten planes, I think, in order to be considered an ace. Uh, I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, victories for ace of ten. I don't know why that is exactly, but whatever. Works for me. I'm going to jump us back over to Rise of Flight and get a nice pretty look at my plane here. Uh, I want to thank everybody once again for coming by for episode 6 of my Rise of Flight Let's Play. Um, one thing I'd like to do in the future as well is uh, at least once Robert Cross's career ends, or maybe even before, I don't know. I, I recently bought a bunch of uh, uh, Central Powers planes, and I actually would like to do a campaign using some of the German planes fighting from the German side which would be kind of, kind of fun because I've mostly and by mostly I mean completely have been doing my let's plays in uh, or at least on the triple entente side of things so it'd be kind of nice to jump over to the uh, central powers and try out some of their planes especially 
I don't know. I kind of there's kind of a side of me that really likes the E3. I guess it's a little bit dopey in some ways, and kind of did see a lot of punishment when stuff like the Newport came into the mix. But uh, I don't know. I think it'll be kind of fun, and I kind of want to try it out. So once uh, once the Robert Cross career ends, which hopefully won't be soon, because I'm you know it's the, so far my best one, <laughs> six episodes in, holding strong. Cross my fingers. Um, but I would still like to to fly an E3 one day. So. Um, Maybe I'll do that beforehand if the Robert Cross ends up going on for quite a while, or once Robert Cross dies, then that'll probably be my next uh, my next campaign. Or if anyone has any suggestions for other planes, I have pretty much all of the scouts for the uh, Central Power side, except for I think the whatever the newer version of the uh, like the more powerful version of the D7 is. I think I have most others. Oh, the D8 too. I don't think I have the D8. Maybe I do. I don't know. Forget. I have a few. I have a few planes. Anyway. Thanks once again for everybody for coming by, and uh, I'll see everybody next time for episode 7 of Robert Cross's Let's Play, or well, career mode of Rise of Flight. I've been NPC, your pilot once again, and see you all next time.